It's Sunday evening and I took the day off today. Let my old 53 year old body recover a little bit. Sometimes I get a bit stiff. I wake up in the morning and my chest is tight or, uh, you know, my legs will be kind of just feel like the old gravity's been cranked up a bit. But anyway, I just thought I'd pop out here and take a little bit of a walk and kind of just look at stuff. Um, it's kind of neat. Uh, I was thinking about everything that I had uh, done this year. January, February, March, April, May, six months. And what did I do, I was thinking. And uh, basically what I did was sheet the west side and tie par the entire house twice. And me and Graham, the bad back plumber, uh, basically plumbed 90% of the house, started in early January and kind of just worked at it a day here, a day there, another day here, another day there. I also did all these uh, straps. If you remember these things, and that required additional bracing in some cases. Yeah. Also did the stairs and this pony wall. What else did I do? Man, I think that's about it. But now I'm working on those uh, tie downs and uh, that's what most of the stuff that I've been filming lately is about. And I've done about five or six. Yeah, and that's the way those are. They go into the foundation. So, just kind of working through all these things. I also did a lot of work on this door, which I really like. It's quite the thing. And you know what? Hey, if for some reason this door doesn't work out, I could use it as a kitchen island. It would make, it would also make like a beautiful office desk. So it's quite, it's quite a unique thing. And uh, it really is beautiful, just the way it is. But not quite done with it yet. But I, I'm going to try to use it as a door first. Yeah, also did that insulation in the basement. And um, kind of started that wall for the electrician. It's gonna be dark down here, folks. So it might, yeah, this isn't gonna work. But this wall, built this wall. Yeah, it's too dark. So I was just about to give my buddy Graham the Bad Back Plumber a shout out for lending me this tool the other day. He saw what I was doing with the ratchet uh, during the last episode. So he brought this thing over so that I can uh, get in tight spaces. But wouldn't you know it, even with the ratchet, there's still not enough room for the ratchet to get in there. So I'm back to ratcheting. You know, you've seen me use this tool, right? This is the best one, but you need room. So that's the way it goes, you know? You just kind of got to do what you got to do to get to where you got to be. And uh, I do appreciate that loan, though. It should have worked in theory. Before I get a bunch of comments saying, why don't I use a shorter bit? It wouldn't matter. Because, uh, here, I'll show you. Even if that socket was smaller, it still wouldn't, damn, it's 
still wouldn't uh, allow me enough room. It would literally have to be right up to the ratchet. So there's just no room. That's the way it goes. Get the old ratchet out. It's been half an hour. Okay. So I realized that if I get the light bulb halfway in, then I can use Graham's ratchet. So that actually helps. Okay, so some of these have one at the bottom. And then, you know, through the floor, they'll have another one at the top. But then some of them don't. Some of them just go into the foundation six and a half inches. And so, yeah, but there's one at the top on the other side of that. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, these, these ones are seven eighths of an inch. It's, it's absolutely insane. I mean, it, I don't know what to say. It's like I'm building a bridge or something. And uh, sorry about the shadow there. But anyway, just kind of wanted to illustrate how some have one at the top, one at the bottom, and then some just have a single at the top. So basically, I am completed, or I have completed this uh, front wall. As you can see, we're already starting to put a little furniture down here. People have been wanting to get rid of furniture that I know, and I'm thinking, well, I've got a house that I need to fill up, so we'll take it. But anyway, yeah. There's another one, etc., etc. So that's how we roll here, and we're having a good time. All right, there's the man himself, or my nephew, visiting from the United States of America, up here in Canada, visiting his uncle. Haven't seen him for a long time. We're having a good time. And uh, that's what we're up to. Taking a few days off, but we're working on a few other little things here and there. We're having a good time. All right, so we took advantage of the fact that we didn't have a place to sleep. We thought, hey, why not? Let's sleep in the new house. And even though it's just barely framed, um, take a look at our sleeping arrangements. We built a little bedroom, put cardboard on one wall. We brought a bed up here. That's my bedroom. And on the awesome nephew's bed is right here. <laughs> come, in, come inside, check out the, All right. the setup. All right, how did you sleep last night? It was good. It was a little crisp, you know. Oh, it was a little crisp and Some creepy uh, noises. We thought we were we were about to be murdered, but we weren't, fortunately. And you know what's cool? When you were lying in bed, did you see all the stars and the aircraft going by last night? Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. So that's the first thing I noticed when I was lying in my bed. The angle just filled up the sky with stars, and you could see the aircraft going by, and it was like. Very neat. I hadn't thought about that before, but now I do. Anyway, so yeah, we, we did two little makeshift bedrooms. It's pretty cool. We're sleeping in here again tonight and the next night and the next night. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we're just having a little fun. I know this isn't house building stuff. Just getting to know me, getting to know my family, getting to know that we like to have a little bit of fun. And the family is important, and that's what we're all about. So we did our own little bedrooms. We're, lip, we're the first people to sleep in the house, and it's a good time. So there you go. Let's get back to some real construction now. All right. So after a few days off, spending some time with my family, we're back putting the hold downs on. I don't know. How exciting this stuff's going to be. I still have quite a few left to go. You know the routine. Drill a hole. Mount the hole down. Lag it. Run the ready rod into the basement. Drill another hole in the concrete. Uh, to be to be glued later on with the, um, the uh, two-part epoxy. But that's what I'm doing. Carrying on. Okay, I got another hole down in. And I had to beef up this... I had to fill this gap here because there was uh, nothing solid in there to tie everything together. Um, now it's time to cut the, yes, 7 8 inch ready rod 
which is insanely thick down so that I can actually fit it in here. So that's what I'm about to do now. I'm gonna knock about eight inches off. Now this one's long because I'm not 100% sure if maybe it would be better if it was up higher. That way you could get electrical wires and stuff down here in the low area. So rather than commit to cutting it short and being locked into that area, there's no harm in leaving it long. If I had to, I could raise these mounts up. So I'm gonna to talk to the electrician about that and uh, see how that, what he thinks of all that. Well, I gotta laugh. I made a mistake. There's supposed to be one on the bottom here too, but they want three cripples whenever you have a, a HDU weight. So basically I had to custom make a piece, which meant cutting a piece down, cutting a notch out, so that uh, it'll fit in there like so. And then this will line up perfectly so that I can lag that onto there. So never an end to the fun and games. It slows the whole process down terrifically. And, uh, you know, it's frustrating, but at the same time, I'm just glad that I have the tools and equipment and knowledge and the, and the wherewithal to be able to pull some of these woodwork uh, trickery off. And uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Perfectly obvious to me. I'm not the kind of person that turns and runs away.